Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. It's another interesting episode of Tutorial Tuesday, but today we are not doing a tutorial, rather we're answering a very simple question that's been asked in the community, which has to do with attribute matching. And I think this is for the guys coming from Maya over to Blender, or maybe Blender over to Maya. And because of that, we're going to take a quick look at how you can get these things going. So how you can match transforms is extremely easy. We're going to start off with Blender and then we're going to move over to Maya. So doing this in Blender is very simple. What we need to do is just bring out Susan the monkey right here. And I'm going to place her right over there. And let's press R just to get a little bit of rotation. Press S to scale her a little bit. And then the magic starts. So for you to actually match transforms, you need to press N on the keyboard and make sure you have your transform visible here. Or you can simply use the transform that you have right here. And the main key here is you need to select the object which you want to copy the transform of, which is probably the cube. And then we need to select the source, which is going to be Susan. And now once we do this, we can actually go from here, right click and say we want to match a particular transform value or we can match all of the transform value within the particular kind of transformation that we want. So if you want to transform this by location, by rotation, by scale, you need to pick which of the axis value that you want or you can match the entire thing. So for location, if we right click and copy all selected, we're going to copy all of the selected transforms that we have for Suzanne over to the cube and that is one way you can do that. Let's undo and also do the same thing right here and you can see that for the cube and we can also do the same thing right here and you can see that for the scale. Now if you want to match only one particular part, all you need to do is just right click, go all the way down and copy single to selected and that way you're just copying only one particular axis. Now we're going to also talk about a very cool and a second option that you can use here in Blender. But before that, let's dive over to Maya. And this is for those who want to get this thing up and running for Maya. So for Maya, we're going to simply create the cube and create a simple sphere. And I'm also going to move this right over here. Select this, you know, probably rotate that, scale this, you know, just to get something different. Now, how you do this in Maya is relatively the same way you do it in Blender. The only difference is where you get to find it. So like in Blender, you need to select the object that you want to copy and then the source. So in our case, let's say we want to copy this cube over to the position of this particular sphere. We need to select the cube, select this, go over to where we have modify, go all the way down, match transforms. Let's tear this out and you can choose to match all transforms you can choose to match individual kinds of transforms that you have here. So if you want to match rotation, you can do that. And you can see we have that right there. Control Z this. You can also match translation. Control Z that. And you can also match the scaling. So depending on what you want to do, you can also choose to match the pivot. But then in Blender, there is also some other, you know, ways that you can match even way more stuff. Because what we've explored so far is you can only choose to match, you know, the rotation, transform, you know, dimensions stuff like this but we haven't actually seen some more stuff now for us to actually get that better or cooler stuff happening we need an add-on now this add-on is free and it comes with blender and for us to get this active we need to go over to edit go over to preference let's drag that right over here go over to the section called add-on and add-on which we need is known as copy attributes i'm just simply going to type the word copy and you could see we have copy attribute right here. Simply click to get the copy attribute active and close. Now, how does this work? How this works is very interesting. Just like we did the very first one, select the first, select the second one, hit Ctrl C on the keyboard and you can choose what you want to copy. Right now, you can also notice that you have even way more things that you can copy. You can choose to copy location, rotation, scale. You can also choose to copy, you know, the, the drawing option, the colors, you can copy modifiers just a whole lot and i think a lot of people don't even know that this add-on exists but the powerful things that you can do with this is just incredible so with this right now i can choose to copy scale and you see we have that done let's undo this one more time one and two and i can also do the same thing here select this select this other one control and c again and i can choose to you know copy modifiers let's do that so i can click right here go over to suzanne add a subdivision surface do this one time 
and turn this over let's select this select these are the one control and c and let's copy the modifiers and right now you can see we can copy the modifiers and this is just incredible so if you're into hard surface modeling and you know you're doing so many so many stuff this is going to come in extremely handy for you i know a lot of people would also be in the comment section and be like but you didn't talk about the nodes in maya okay so the nodes in maya is also very interesting but the thing i have to say about nodes in Maya is it makes more sense when you are actually trying to rig. So how I mean is this, like right now we have this going, we can go over to window and go all the way down to node editor. We have the node editor and you can see we have these two selected. I can simply select all of this and expose all of their input and output values. And you can see we have this. Then you notice that we have the transform nodes. These are basically the mesh and you know object nodes and finally the shading node. So if we double click right here and also double click right here, we can choose to copy transforms and also other Kind of stuff and for us to simply get this going we can just simply click from here let's take a look at what we have and let me bring this over to this part so we can simply click from here which is the skill and run this over to this other skill and you can notice we have that going and i can also choose to run the rotation and you can see we have this going but then this is not for simple tasks like this this makes a lot of sense if you're into rigging and stuff like that of course i would strongly suggest that you keep an eye for something like this and if you want to see more about what we talked about the rigging tools that exist for both blender and maya the vice versa i'm gonna put a link in the description as this is a little bit more advanced for something like this so for example if you want to copy things like you know the rotation of what you have right here to the transform of what you have right here it's also pretty decent as you can just simply click drag and throw it over to something like this get a unit conversion and get this going so this is more like it and for anyone that is asking about how you can match transform copy attributes stuff like that this is how you can actually get these things going directly in both blender and Maya. So tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. And of course, if you have more questions about little tips and tricks like this that you want to know about, simply put that in the comment section and I'll do my best and cover these things on days like the tutorial Tuesday and probably any other day. So tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video video or the next update and until i see you guys again with your tutorial updates free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace